Come on, Daryl, let me in, let me in. Nope. Why not? You know why. Eric, you better let me in right this instant. I can't. Gerald won't let me. Yes, you can. Just overpower him. Mark, I'm not gonna let you pee in this tent, okay? Go outside or hold it for the rest of the trip. I can't pee out here. Don't you know that people watch people out here? God, Mark, stop being a baby and just go outside. You, you promised me that there was going to be a public restroom here with running water and urinals that fit just right. But I look around, Gerald, and all I see is another one of your broken promises. Well, that's too bad, Mark, but you can't go in here. Fine, I don't need you. I don't need your dumb tent either. I'm going to make my own place to pee. And you're not invited! Jesus Christ, Mark. I, I tried to build a bathroom, but but when I when I got inside, I I uh, Gerald, can we please let him in the tent? Why, so he can pee on it? He's killing himself. Stop defending him, Eric. He's always doing this shit, and I'm tired of it. Well, can we at least drive him home? In my car? I don't think so, okay? He's not allowed in anything of mine until this issue is resolved, okay? Maybe you can talk some sense into him. Hey, Mark. Don't you think that maybe this is going too far? You don't get it. Neither of you get it. I'm not about to let that fucker Gerald tell me where I can and can't pee. That's what a real man does. Mark. You betrayed me, Eric. And for that we can no longer be friends. I'm sorry. I have to get up now, Mark. Then go. Run! Run back to your precious Gerald! When I find civilization, I'm gonna find a nice, clean toilet. More real than any toilet you've ever promised me. I'm a person. You're not a person. You're just a big baby who's gonna pee in his pants. <laughs> I'm not a baby. I'm a person. I'm a person. Mark! Mark! 
You have to pee on me. You have to do it. It's the only way, Mark. Do it. Do it. wondering when you were going to wake up. Come, sit down. Um, where am I? You're in my house. I found you outside, lying on the ground and I brought you upstairs to my guest room. Oh, okay. Did you find the bed comfortable? Yeah, it was uh, very comfortable. Do you have a bathroom by chance? Why, yes. Down the hallway and to the right. You know, it's been such a long time since I've had any visitors. Most people try to stay far away from here. Is that so? Yes. People are so judgmental nowadays. Oh, I bet. They think just because I'm an old lady who lives alone in the woods. They should be afraid of me. Tell me about it. No children at Halloween. No carolers singing outside on Christmas. Even the postman drops my mail outside the yard and refuses to come up onto my porch. Oh, I. That sounds very interesting. Tell me more. Okay, I will. Uh, my mother told me when I was a little girl to respect... Okay, lady, thank you very much, but I gotta get back to my friends. Leaving already? They always say 
I have to go to the bathroom. And then they never come back. You're just like my grandchildren, chatting with me when it's convenient. And then I find out secretly wishing I would die. Well, I'm not going anywhere, and neither are you. You're going to be keeping me company for a long time. Guys, come out, guys, guys, come on out. Mark. You can't come in here, Mark. I don't need to anymore. I don't need to. Really? Really. So you peed in the woods? No. Wait, wait. These past few days, I've been stubborn, a fool. Scared, but I've changed now. I I realize it's not where you pee, it's who you pee around. This is for you, my friends. Ah! We're so proud of you, Mark. Yeah! Yeah, we did it! Ah! <laughs> it's how it for so long! Yeah. Pack everything up, we're leaving. Uh. So you just like pushed an old lady on the ground? Uh, yeah, uh, but it was either her or me, so. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. Well, who needs her, huh? Who needs her when I have my butts? Stop. Good to have you back. Good to be back. There's a girl the right misfits. The misunderstood you. I'm right, Watson. Yeah! Like a bomb, bomb.